Now, they may look tiny and adorable, but we've all heard toddler tantrums at the supermarket and we've listened to the attempts by frazzled mums to sort of sort out their little darlings or we have been those frazzled mums at the supermarket sorting out their little darlings. So joining us in the Cafe Coffee Group is John Cowan, a parenting expert from The Parenting Place, psychologist Sarah Chatwin and Renee leonard Stainton. Now, Renee, let's go to you first because you've got uh, two under three-year-olds, a one and a nearly three-year-old. That is impressive in itself. It's busy. <laughs> and apart from the fact that probably going to the toilet on your own is a very tough thing. Oh my gosh, tell me about it. What is the hardest yeah. thing about the kids this age? I would say it's probably where my one-year-old's at. You know, he's 13 months, and it's that stage where he can't communicate yet, but he knows what he wants. So there's pee smashing on the high chair, you know, I'm going, what are you? oh, you want the chicken that's still cooling off, right. You know, it's that frustration that they feel and just trying to work out what they actually want at that point. Um, and as you say, dealing with the tantrums. I mean, he's 13 months and he's already got the back up thing <laughs> and you're going, oh no, wait till we get to two. So they muster that very early on, don't they? They do, yeah, and it's just it's just that communication. And it's frustrating watching them because you can see that they're just looking at you going, Mum, yeah. it's this so is, easy. Yeah, this is what I want, Mum. Yeah. Can you not read my signs? Um, now, Sarah, what's the psychology behind this? I mean, what's going on in the brains of these little darlings? Well, I think Renee's brought up a couple of really good points. These tantrums, I hate to tell everybody, are not just at that age too but I think we've 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 put it at two because the children are developing their brains are growing at such a fast rate they're learning to communicate albeit it might be a little bit rudimentary as you've pointed out <laughs> uh, so they're learning to communicate and they're wanting their needs met but also they're wandering around they're moving a lot more so I'm not sure whether it's toddler tantrums or whether it's just a matter of that or a case of parents having to be more proactive about what they do with their child because it's kind of nice when you have a baby they kind of just want to eat and sleep and you know be clean at mm -hmm. certain times and then all of a sudden they move from that to become these little people that are walking around but they are not as complex as we are they have a lot of growth to do and a lot of experiential stuff to gain so we can't treat them like mini adults we have to view them as children okay. and understand that they're going through this huge growth process so you say get proactive as parents what do you mean by that I I think get proactive in terms of doing stuff with them. I also think it's really important not to take two-year-olds personally. They don't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> so true. They don't Very mean advice. anything when they're throwing their potatoes and peas at you and when they're making demands. And those tantrums, everybody's had them. But I can tell you, and this might be quite disappointing for the rest of the couch people here today, um, yeah, Temper tantrums at two, I had them going on till 17. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it can take a long time to get those tantrums under control. So yeah, I think for parents, be proactive, don't take things personally, understand that there, there is generally no agenda for what your little child okay. is doing. They Perfect. have no agenda. They're not haters, they're really not. So they don't actually hate us, that's good to know, <laughs> thanks Sarah. So John, from your point of view, what is the, what is the thing that parents can do with their toddlers? I think the best approach is to deal with a problem when it's not a problem. It's the atmosphere and the boundaries you establish and the communication you work on at times when it's not a tantrum and to actually pick up the signs of their growing frustration and to perhaps head it off at the pass and if you're if shopping is a time when tantrums are thrown, well, think ahead of time and think, well, let's not take them when they're hungry or tired. Well, let's just not take them at all. Let's, let's <laughs> take them like shopping. Yeah. I'm with Mel. That's right. And a, and a really big one is settle for less and settle for mess while you've got little kids. Mm. Don't try and fill your life up with too much stuff. Don't try and maintain the same standards of cleanliness and decor and even hygiene that you had before you had kids. And give yourself a break. Okay, good. That's great. That is very good advice, actually. Don't worry about the mess. Don't worry about the hygiene mm. so much. It's all good for the immune system, really, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's been great having you, and thanks for coming in. Great advice. If you at home have any questions for the Coffee Group, do get in touch via our Facebook page.